I mentioned that there are a number of options for considering the joint program of scientific research. First, the signatories could continue to have their own scientists work essentially independently and meet only once in a while. And this, in fact, was done throughout the negotiations of this agreement. This is what I call the minimalist approach. But those of us involved in the negotiation, I believe, felt that something more was needed, something more formal and robust that would um, allow the scientists engaged in this uh, exercise uh, to work more collaboratively. And so a second possibility is to use authority that is found in the agreement to establish a scientific committee. Each party would appoint a scientist or two to such a committee. There would be agreed terms of reference, perhaps a small secretariat to help organize the meetings and take care of the other administrative aspects. And for the longer run, one might consider establishing a new marine science organization for the Central Arctic Ocean as a whole. It could perform the functions uh, related to this agreement and so much more. One could imagine a new North Pacific Marine Science Organization, a Pisces, but for the Arctic, or an International Council for the Exploration of the Sea, an ICES for the Central Arctic. Uh, that is probably a few years still down the road, but it's not a bad time to start thinking about further governance of Arctic science uh, in connection with this agreement and the other things we've heard about today.